In this tutorial, we will learn about path array. For path array, we will need to create the path using polyline or spline. Path needs to be connected. We will create one path using spline object. Then we will need a profile to array on the path. For that, we will insert one tree object. Give tool palettes. Click on tree. Give the base point. Close it. Reduce the scale of the tree. Scale. Select object. Enter. Point 0.1. Okay. We want to array this tree on this path. Click on the path array. Select object you want to array. Enter. Select the path curve. It will create the array like this. From here you can give the gap between the items. I want gap of 5. Number of atoms will be automatically calculated based on the gap between the atoms. If I increase the gap, number of atoms will reduce. And if I reduce the gap, number of atoms will increase. This is based on the gap. But if you want to define the number of atoms based on the atom count, then for that you will have to click on this measure and click on this divide option. Using this divide option, you can define the number of atoms. And if you want to define it by distance, again click on this measure. Then from here you can give the rows. If you want to create the parallel rows, using this you can create it. You can change the gap from here, gap between rows. You can specify the total distance also. We will make the rows to be 1. From here you can define whether you want the array to be associative or not. If you click on it, array will become non-associative. Then from here you can control whether you want your atom aligned or not. Click on it. So your atoms will not remain aligned. And if you click on it, it will remain aligned. It will copy the same way everywhere. Then click on close array. If you want to make changes to the array, again click on any one atom. If you want to make any changes to the original shape, from here you can click on this edit source. Select the atom. Ok. Suppose I want to add here one more shape. So it will be added to every atom in the array. To come out, click on this edit array, save changes. Again click on the array atom. At some position, if you want different shape, you can select replace atom. If at some position you want different shape, you can click on this replace atom. Suppose at this position I want a different tree. Give the tool palettes. Then select trees. And change the type of tree. By clicking on it. Or I want this evergreen. Evergreen plant. And change the scale, give the scale command, give the base point and make it 0.1. Ok. Here I want to replace this tree with this tree. Remove this. Then click on the array atom. Then replace atom. Then select replacement object. Click on this new tree and enter. And give the base point. Then click on this atom and enter. Escape. So in this way you can replace the atom. Again click on the array atom. If you want to cancel the replacement, click on this reset array. You will get your original array back. Using this level option, we can create levels in 3D. For that we will create one array in 3D. Click on this 3D modeling and click on AC isometric. Then create one path using spline. And create one atom on the spline. I want to create this sphere. Give the center point, give the radius. Change visual style to shaded. Then array it using path array. Select the object, enter, select the path. Then in levels, we can define the levels in z direction. So in this way, you can create the 
path array in level and for this increment we will create one more object click on AC isometric then create one path using polyline then create one object using cylinder give the height then click on path array select the object enter select the path then give the rows number of rows to be 4 and then in rows give the increment of 3 or we will give it bigger to see the effect escape and here the objects are lifted with the increment distance we have given so that's all thanks for watching we will stop here